Paul79 here. I hope you're safe and well. Hope you've all had good weeks. Um, so today is Saturday. And if you'd asked me on Wednesday what I was going to do this Saturday, I probably would have said I'm going to work on that one, the finish it off, the to-do list, etc, etc. But things move quickly in the Paul79 world. And three days later, I've decided well, not decided, I've been persuaded to take on another project. Now, before I show you what I've got in store, let me tell you the reason for this. So this is a car that's been owned by a guy that I've known for a very number of years, you know, back in the Ferrari days. Um, I know, I've known him, never met him, but he's a lovely guy. Unfortunately, he's got some health issues that means he can't work on his car. It's basically 80% done and it just needs finishing off. And judging by some of the stuff that the body work he, body shop, sorry, that he used, um, yeah, we need to get it, get it sorted. So I've agreed to take it on. It's currently out the front of my house. So let's go and have a look. Basically, when you see it, you won't be able to miss it. And this time it's blimmin' bright yellow. My neighbours will think I've painted uh, my other one. But yeah, this is what we've got. Um, you can see it goes, um, but yeah, there are a lot of things that need doing on it. First and foremost, it needs a wash. So that is what I'm gonna do. So, I will see you in a bit. Bye. So I'm here, I'm waiting for him to arrive. We'll probably hear it before we, before we see it, but uh, once you see it, you won't be able to miss it because it's a lovely bright yellow. Probably about two minutes to go. Here it comes. Oh, I don't know where he is. I've never heard of him. <laughs> Hello, mate. All right. Oh, good to see you. And you. Put it on here. All Just right, drive it on here. She made it. Lovely. There's one in your right, gang. Let's go through this car and see what I've let myself in for. Okay, so on the surface, it looks okay, doesn't it? Nice bright yellow. You can't miss it, can you? See that driving past? You're going to have a look at it, aren't you? But yeah, let's go round it bit by bit and have a look at what I've got to do to it. Okay, let's start with the outside. So, what do we got? So, I mean, this is a very nice. The arch, the inside of the arches is still grey. So, probably gonna have to take them out. Um, what we got here? The, um, the skirts coming off. Um, okay, these vents um, they've been cut in half and not well. They're glued in been cut in half but not sort of trimmed back as they should so we're gonna need to might need to start again on them headlight well I know the headlight doesn't work that's not sitting quite nicely that one is sunken uh, the grill that's um it's coming apart these are pretty good um, that's sitting quite nicely. The DRL, that one's sunken in. Oh God. Uh, we've got the wrong, the bonnet doesn't shut quite right. It's proud there. Probably gonna have to move that up. Um, might have to get the bonnet repainted to be fair. It's got the wrong indicators in. These are the indicators for the just the normal GT3. The RS ones come out further. Uh, 
we've got no window trims here like the drip rails um, window needs a lining uh, got a little crack there well I'm not gonna be able to fix that um, so that's that we've got oh we have got number plate lights that's good but no number plate there this is all all this grill part is missing uh, so let's sort that out these yeah like I said need to come out there they're starting to come unstuck anyway um, the skirts have been sort of bonded on they don't sort of sit flush I might be able to do something there um, this is coming out it's a bit proud just need to shave that a little bit off and then that'll be good um, <laughs> there's no arch liners or well, there's arch liners but they need extending uh, there's no rear arch liner pieces done uh, let's have a look on the inside so inside here we've got uh, they brought this, this has been brought forward. I don't think you need to do that, but I'll see if I can fix that. Um, I like to trim this bit back as well. It's a bit flimsy. Window, the window has been stuck, but I think I'm gonna have to take that out, the rear window. Um, this all works fine. You could neaten all of that up because that's just rushed there. This could be tidier. They've got cracks here, but um, I would normally black that out. Uh, yeah, so the wiring needs doing. Uh, I'd probably paint them black. Uh, let's have a look at the front bonnet. I haven't looked at that yet. What have we got in here? Sorry, bad, whoa, bad filming. Um, yeah, it's pretty reasonable in here. There's just some uh, trim panels that need putting back. Probably black that out. Um, this grill, how's that? Oh gosh, that's not done. Oh lordy. Might just have to redo all the grills again. Um, Okay, so yeah, there's quite a lot to do on the outside. But then on the inside... Okay, so what do we got here? So we've got the standard box of dash, that's fine. The radio doesn't work, so we need to change that. That all just needs a clean up. Uh, there's no roof done. Um, and yeah, you can see how the kit fits together so that's all been glued but yeah none of the none of the rear has been built so that's all open there need to wire up the rear rear, rear window heater um yeah oh well we get it done and then of course all the well, there's all the errors on the dashboard um, that need uh, sorting out. I have to do the wiring for that. I, have to, I know the headlights have been wired up the wrong way or differently. One, one is powered when you put the fog light on. So again, might need to just start again, to be fair. And, uh, and, and if I'm gonna do that, put in the old CAN bus things to, uh, um, stop the errors on the dashboard I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do the wing mirrors I'll just keep them as they are um, keep them uh, to standard boxster uh, so yeah we'll get it we'll get it to a better standard hopefully fingers crossed but what I'm gonna do now is give it a good wash because I don't like working on dirty cars I like it, like them to be clean. And we've got to wash all those flies off of it, haven't we? Right, see you in a bit, gang. 
Okay, so I've given the car a good wash. Um, it was a good opportunity by doing that because I go all over the car and uh, you know check out every single thing. I've noticed a couple more things um, that needs doing. Put a bit of the old tire shine on the wheels, bring it up a bit. Um, but yeah, so this will be the last time you see it with all its bits on for a while because I think there are quite a few things we need to just take off and redo. But yeah, so wish me luck. I'll update you at the end to show you what it looks like afterwards. All right, bye bye. So there you go, gang. Um, I've spent a good four hours on it today, cleaned it all up, went all over it, and it gave me a good opportunity to look at what needs doing. Um, and I've already started taking some bits off, but it's got dark now, so I, I can't carry on. But you know, things like this need to be restuck. Um, I, managed, I managed to get one of these off, so that's good. So we can black it out behind and redo it. Got the, uh, got the shark fins out. Um, very interesting it was actually good really it's the, the glue that was used um, to stick these in is very weird um, and it goes really hard and it actually just made made them come out a lot easier <laughs> I'm just breaking bits off I don't know whether we can rescue these to be fair we might need to start again on them but yeah, anyway it's all good um, I didn't I, I looked back at the previous uh, uh, couple of clips and I did say come across a bit negative so I'm really sorry about that the owner of the car but don't you worry we will get it there it's nothing I haven't seen before and uh, we'll get it all sorted so I'm going to call this series this mini series Paul 79's car SOS so this is part one uh, hopefully there's not going to be too many other parts but yeah we'll see so take care guys see you on the next video bye bye